Private sector participation in RED is very important and the example of Amazonas Sustainable Foundation is an interesting one because we have 93% of our investments coming from the private sector. Um, and one of the lessons learned is that uh, the private sector needs and wants to be more involved with uh, forest issues, with forest conservation. Uh, and our approach has been to provide them a very professional, a very result-oriented uh, kind of opportunities so that they can invest in actions which uh, provide benefits to both the forest and to the people living in those forests and then get returned in terms of their benefits uh, of image and of uh, their institutional corporate social responsibility goals. And I think that this can be a sort of an entry phase, a starting point for private sector engagement. Another strategy has been to, to work with uh, voluntary carbon offsets. A number of companies are uh, becoming uh, more aware of this and are doing reporting, are doing uh, accounting of their emissions and are looking for opportunities to do offsets. And RED provides the best opportunity for offsets because it has uh, co-benefits that other alternatives do not have. So I think that engaging private sector uh, is doable and I think there are many cases where we have proven that to be a, a success story both for private sector investors and for communities that benefit from those investments. My vision is that the key uh, factor to drive private sector engagement is transparency and professionalism with results-based uh, alternatives for investments so that uh, we speak the same language as private sector does in their regular business. So how much are you investing? What are the concrete results? And I think this kind of professionalism of delivery of results is the key to attract private, private sector investments in red. We have a number of innovations. <laughs> One of those is a credit card of Bradesco Bank, uh, the second largest Brazilian private bank. And this is my personal credit card. And 50% of the annual fees paid by Bradesco customers go to our fund. Uh, the same goes for a savings account mechanism. Um, so that's one innovative mechanism that we have developed to come up with a, a link between consumers, individuals, and forests. Uh, the second one is uh, by linking oil production. We have a partnership with an oil company which is investing one dollar, uh, roughly 60 cents per barrel. If this example was followed by all industries in the oil sector, this would add up to $20 billion a year. So it's a small innovation because a relatively small Brazilian company called HRT. But if this company and this example was uh, followed, we could have something uh, of a significant size. And this is uh, another lesson from the Amazon that we're bringing to the international arena so that uh, we hope to inspire others to to do similar actions.